These statistics are important because of this statistic. Charitable giving in the U.S. has remained constant at about 2% of GDP ever since we've been measuring it. And, and the U.S. leads the world. The U.K. is uh, uh, second to the U.S. in terms of per capita charitable giving. But what that statistic means is that the, the nonprofit sector is not taking market share from the for-profit sector. And how could any sector take market share from another sector if it's not really allowed to go to market? Not really. Not in any meaningful way. You know, John Kenneth Galbraith, the famous liberal economist, said that first the for-profit sector builds the product and then through the massive engines of advertising and marketing, it builds the market for that product. It builds the demand for that product. But we're supposed to build the market for philanthropy, for the end of poverty and disease and everything else without really investing any money in marketing. The third area of discrimination is uh, risk taking in pursuit of new revenue streams. So Paramount Pictures can make a hundred million dollar movie that flops. It's simply considered part of their business model. They make a lot of movies, some succeed, some fail, more succeed than fail. And on that basis, they build these huge empires, placing, you know, hundred, hundred and fifty million dollar bets every, every few weeks on some new movie <coughs> idea. But I can tell you, and I'm sure you can relate from personal experience, you do a $5 million community fundraiser that doesn't produce you know, a 70% return to the cause in the first 12 months, and your character and your professionalism are called into question. So the nonprofit sector can't develop the kinds of powerful learning curves that the for-profit sector can, placing $100 million bets on new business ideas every other week. The fourth area of discrimination is, is simply time horizon, right? So we give the for-profit sector a long time horizon. The nonprofit sector has to report on activities every 12 months and measure its overhead and its investments and, the, and return on investment every 12 months, regardless of the fact that that investment might not pay off for 48 months or 60 months. You know, so Amazon.com, we let them go for six years without returning any profit, not a penny of profit to investors. And everybody had patience and understood that there's a long-term goal in mind here. You know, we're trying to build market dominance, so we'll suffer through six years with no profit to get there. But can you imagine if any charity ever <coughs> undertook some six-year vision where for the first six years no money was being returned to the needy? simply would not be allowed. 